Well, dog parents, you might want to be extra cautious the next time you take your pup on a walk. Due to monsoon and the heat, more rattlesnakes are slithering around town, which can be dangerous for your furry friend. Nine on your side, Shirley Shah Perla Shaheen shows us how training could help save a dog's life. Plenty of local veterinary centers like this one are seeing more injured dogs because of rattlesnake bites. Get your bone. Would you like one of your bones? <laughs> Wayne and Barbara Albright only want the best for their eight-year-old dog, Buddy. We have no kids at home, no grandkids around. They're all grown up. This is our, our kids, supposedly. Oh, my goodness. Buddy is a peaceful lab retriever mix. So when you hear him bark, it usually only means one thing. There's a rattlesnake nearby. And he's protected us. Yes, he Three has. or four times from snakes. And uh, of course, he paid the price this time. Albright says Buddy's gotten two rattlesnake bites in the past two months. We come outside, we have our coffee and stuff like that. And he's very protective. And that's, that's his job. <laughs> and he takes it seriously and he doesn't care. Buddy isn't the only dog getting bit. Employees at Tucson's Veterinary Specialty Center say snake bites have gone up in recent years. This summer, they've treated around 60 dogs a month with antivenom. Snakes are, are out uh, because of the heat with the summer. They're cold-blooded reptiles. Um, Monsoon's definitely is drying them out as well. Um, this is our this is the peak season for snakes. Veterinarians say to look out for the symptoms. The most common ones are swelling or fatigue. But if you know for certain your dog was bit, they should definitely get checked out no matter what. Um, signs from venom are going to appear in the blood before the physical symptoms start to show. You got two bald spots, you're getting bad, man. Perla Shaheen, oh. Kega 9 on your side.